In this video, we're going to be covering the best settings for overall performance and for gaming on the 2023 Lenovo with the RTX 4080 and the i9 13900HX. So one of the main drivers of doing the configuration will be in the LinkedIn Vantage, which should be installed on your computer when you boot up. So one of the first things I want to cover is when you are plugged in. So they have a setting here called performance mode, which I found to be um, helpful in terms of getting the most out of the bench marks and also in gaming. But typically I leave it around balance if I'm doing meetings or gaming. Um, I haven't found a need to really push it on performance mode. So something to consider, but technically the most you will get in terms of performance will be using performance mode, um, hence the appropriate name. Now, one thing to keep in mind here is depending on if you are going to be on battery or not, is you could select this mode, which is the dedicated RTX 4080. And once you restart, you will not be able to have the integrated card so you'll lose out on battery life. So depending on what your needs are, if you suspect you're going to be traveling and need a lot of battery because you won't be able to plug in, you might want to consider having one of these options available. Now, you won't have these options, at least for me when you first started. There was actually a setting here and I had to hit toggle and then restart the computer to then bring up hybrid mode. If I went to DGPU, I wouldn't have this option anymore. So something to keep in mind, if you need to do traveling is to plan on what mode to do. And for the most part, what I do when I'm plugged in is I have this hybrid auto mode, which works for me. So if I'm unconnected from the battery, it will try to turn off the dedicated GPU and I will switch over to the Intel GPU. There are other settings here which get more advanced, but I would say in terms of just standard out of the box performance tweaks that you could do, I would just pretty much have this in performance mode and the rest you could leave as off. One thing I also note is when you are in hybrid mode and if you, for example, need better battery life, if you unplug a lot or you're on the move, you need to go to device manager. You need to go to display adapters and make sure that this is set. It might just be a default uh, Microsoft display driver um, and you should, you might not have Parsec if you don't have Parsec installed, but right click this, hit update driver, switch for drivers automatically, and it should find this. I found that when I was in hybrid mode, it and it happened to turn off my RTX 4080, I no longer had control of my screen brightness. So this is something, if you're having this issue, to configure when you are setting up your computer. I wanted to talk in terms of if you are off battery, something that you may have seen in my other videos, you, you will get some choppiness, some underclocking, if that is um, the case and you don't have great performance. I have found that actually either on battery mode, going to quiet mode or perform performance mode actually helps make the laptop usable when on the battery. It actually was severely slow and almost unusable. Um, so going into Legion Vantage and putting on quiet mode is one step. Another step is if you're off battery, make sure you're not on battery saver mode. And if you are in battery saver mode, make sure that in Vantage you have this setting set properly. And then lastly, another thing you could do is when you're in the power options mode, make sure that you either get to the performance mode or quiet mode, or I even recommend going to the Windows default balance mode, which should help with the severe underclocking that happens when you're on battery. It's almost unusable in my opinion when you are off battery and you have the default Legion balance mode. It just gets way too slow on battery performance. Another tweak I'll say for battery performance is you should be able to bring up the Intel Graphics Command Center. Once inside here, you should be able to change the settings on battery and off battery. In some of these global settings, um, they allow you to change certain important functions you'll have to. But here in the system settings, once you go, actually it tells you what you have. But once you go here to power mode, when you're on battery, you either want to be balance mode or maximum performance, you could try out battery life yourself to see if it suits your needs to extend ac the actual battery. Um, I've seen somewhere here, it says like five hours, um, but also I have it set when I'm in plugged in, in, in case the hybrid mode turned off my 
uh, RTX 4080 to record appropriately and to have maximum performance. So keep this in mind. If you're having severe stuttering or lag when you're on battery, check out the Intel graphics and make sure that your power setting modes are set appropriately. Okay, so one setting I would also do is doing the game bar settings, which would be to go into, let's see here, you go into systems to bring it up and then bring up gaming, which should be here in the systems. Here you have game mode, game bar, and you can decide what you want to do here. Turning it off will make the game bar using the Xbox control button, but it'll still be active. So if you actually wanted to completely disable it, you would have to go into some of the registry settings to turn off game bar. And then there is game mode, which it tells you what it does if you bring it up on export sport, kind of puts it at a performance mode. So it's something you could consider doing when gaming, if that's something that you want to get the extra performance of XPS settings. Another thing I would also keep in mind is in GeForce Experience, you can use this to also keep your NVIDIA settings up to date. Simply go here to launch experience, go to settings, hit drivers, and make sure that you're on the latest NVIDIA drivers. If you are up to date, you shouldn't get an update and it should tell you perfectly that you're ready to game and use this laptop. So overall, those are some basic settings that I would tweak if you're having performance issues or you want to squeeze out the best performance of your machine. Be on the lookout for other suggestions in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.